to a brand new studio vlog. So much has happened. I'm in my new studio. I've only really documented it on my shorts and I've been painting it and it's now decorated and I'm in love with this space. I have been totally missing in action when it comes to studio vlogs. I have got a lot to cover and explain to you a little bit about where I've been, why I've not been posting vlogs and where the new home of my vlogs are gonna be. This is a huge announcement for me. I am starting a second YouTube channel. So go subscribe, it's called The Fizz and Flourish Diaries. So the Fizz and Flourish channel is going to be mainly art tutorials, draw with me's, review videos, that sort of thing. And then my studio vlog, all of the behind the scenes stuff, me working in my studio, working on new products, stuff about my shop, my Patreon, all things like that. It's going to be on this second channel, The Fizz and Flourish Diaries. I can do artist diaries, day in the life videos, studio vlogs. And um, so that's where I'm gonna be posting all of the backstage stuff. I'm starting from scratch. When you start a second channel, you you don't automatically get monetized and get all the same subscribers. I'm so excited to be like separating those two things because studio vlogs and art videos, they're, they're actually quite different and it's a very different audience. That was my big announcement. And now we're gonna get into the actual vlog. I'm excited to be vlogging again. And yeah, I keep sharing the behind the scenes stuff because I still want to give you guys that free content, which is why I'm making the second channel. I recently closed my shop and the plan was to open it sporadically throughout the year. I'm really struggling to balance everything. I just couldn't keep up with manufacturing, like making my stickers, my notepads, my notebooks and stuff. I am thinking of reopening my shop, but the only way I can do this is if all of my products are manufactured out with my studio. So the plan at the moment is to gradually get things manufactured whenever I get a bit of extra income. And I've already started. I've got some stationery to unbox because stationery is coming back. With this delivery, I have got some stationery for my New Year's goodie box. So if you wanna grab a goodie box, head over to my Patreon. It is getting sent at the end of December. So I thought it would be good to do a New Year's theme. So kind of get organized, that sort of thing. Because I was ordering that, I thought, well, I'll order some stationery for my shop for when it reopens. Right, let's get unboxing. First up for my Patreon goodie boxes, it's like a little, a6 daily planner. The colors are so good. It says first thing, morning, afternoon, evening, and then notes and ideas, rather than like a massive to-do list. It's like a place where you can put your daily tasks on and actually break it up. Okay, and next up we have something for my shop. <gasps> it's a little notepad. I've written sleepy scribbles. So it's something that you can have on your bedside table. It's the middle of the night and an idea pops into your head. You can just scribble it down here. And again, there's 50 pages. I love it. And the colors have come out great. When I design more stationery, I'm gonna have the same sort of style so that I can offer maybe a bundle. And yeah, I love it. It's so exciting unboxing new stationery. Yay. Any further, I have been gifted something really special. When Teddy Blake offered me a designer handbag, I found it really, really hard to say no. And I thought, you know what? We all need to treat ourselves sometimes. So this is a little unboxing of my new designer handbag. I have never owned a designer handbag before. Let's have a look because it's Italian leather and it, yeah, I can't wait. It's a bag in a box in a bag, in a bag. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. So like I said, I've never owned a designer bag before. So I was really curious to see if the designer label would really demonstrate the quality because I would expect it to be high quality. <gasps> oh my goodness. <gasps> Smells amazing. So I decided to go with this color because it's actually part of my brand color and I thought, 
well, if, it, if I'm gonna make it for my Fizz and Flourish channel, I may as well go for a brand color. And I mean, this lime green is just gorgeous. <gasps> I feel so fancy. It's honestly, it's so soft. Oh, and you also get a handle. So I don't tend to carry a handbag like this. I'll, I'll definitely be using the, the handle. Oh, it smells so good and it's such gorgeous quality. Thank you so, so much Teddy Blake for reaching out. I definitely don't normally accept this sort of thing on my channel, but I just couldn't resist a piece of luxury like this. How cute is that? So this has come all the way from New York. And if you wanna grab one yourself, you can find it in the link in the description below. And yeah, that is my latest gift from this channel. Hey guys, so I am just, it's the next day, it's Saturday. My parents have got Freddy for a few hours because Derek's working. I've just been setting up my live stream for Patreon. I used to predominantly do tutorials for my live streams. So I'm gonna focus on that. So this month's live stream tutorial is all about how I use Procreate. So I'm gonna be sharing all my hints and tips and like how I use the app myself. So I'm just getting ready for that and then I'm gonna get going with my live stream. Look how cool this background is. I mean, maybe not my coat. Let's just... But yeah, I really, really love it. It's really nice just to have a splash of color because before it was just so white and bright, which is great, but it was a bit too much. So um, yeah, there's definitely a need of some color. Right, I'm gonna go and hopefully I can share lots of tips with my patrons. Okay, so I'm going live very soon, but I thought I would show you my very professional setup. First of all, we've got my webcam, which is sellotaped to a mic stand. I mean, you do not get much more professional than that. I'm using OBS and I've got my camera webcam facing me here. Hello. And then the, the main webcam pointing to my iPad. It's not the most professional, but it works. And that's the main thing. So I've just finished my live stream for my patrons and the feedback was great. They said they learned loads of new things um, all about Procreate. So that's available for them to watch back. It's part of my $6 tier over on Patreon. Yeah, the camera's quite heavy, so I'm gonna head home now. I've got a bit of a headache starting and I think I'm gonna get home in time for Freddie's bedtime. Excuse the mess of me, I'm currently at home and we're laying laminate in our living room and yeah, I'm a mess. But something really exciting has arrived. I wanted to show you, I can't wait to get to the office to see them. It's my calendars for my goodie boxes this month. Now I don't have my tripod, so my camera work might be a bit shaky. Oh my goodness. So I was editing the vlog and that footage was so, so bad. The lighting was awful. To be honest, it's not much better. <coughs> Yes, I'm with Freddie today. <laughs> We've got the front cover. It says 2023, the Posty Pals desk calendar. And look how cute this is. You've got the illustration on the left and then the calendar on the right. It's just like a little desk calendar where you can reference the day. So it sits like a little triangle. How cute is this? I've never made anything like this before and I'm so pleased. So if you wanna grab one, you've maybe got like a day because um, you can only get these by the end of December. And they're all different colors. I've tried to match the font to a color in the illustration. Yeah, I'm really, really happy. Yay. Guess what? It's arrived, my jumper from Coco Natasha. I couldn't not get it. I'm so excited. So I'll leave her link in the, the description below. So this is my Christmas present to me. Small business, big dreams. Hang on, I'm gonna change. I decided, oh, it's so cozy. Oh, it's so cozy. I decided to go for a large because I wanted it to be really baggy and, well, I hope it's baggy. 
oh, yeah, it feels it feels like a good, oh, it's, it's perfect. Oh, it's so cozy. Yay! Now that I'm feeling all inspired by my jumper, who knew clothes could be motivating? I wanted to chat to you about my plans and how I'm feeling about the business right now. I wondered what that square was, but it's, it's literally a sun patch on the wall. It looks like a vortex or something. Anyway, I think it's because heading into the new year, I always feel like raring to go again with the business. I'm starting to think about my plan for next year and I want 2023 to be my year. I want it to be the best year of my business. I want to grow my business. I want to increase my revenue so that I can expand, have products in my shop, open my shop up permanently. I've got my 2023 diary and I bought an A4 one so that I had plenty of space to plan. And what I'm gonna do this morning before I get into like my other tasks is just plan my year. I don't normally do that. I usually write my goals for the year and things I want to achieve, but I think I need to break down month by month how I'm going to achieve those. And then I need to set up a system where I'm checking back every month to see that I am on track to achieving those goals within that month. I think so far in my business, I have just, I've come into the office, done my to-do list things on, on the day. And although I'm working, I don't feel like I'm working to a bigger goal. I feel like I'm just working in the moment. And I think it's because I'm, I feel so overwhelmed when I think of the bigger picture and I end up not being as productive. I'm productive at the smaller tasks that need doing every day, but not like the things that are gonna get my business to where I want it to go. Hopefully you guys are feeling motivated I think it's just the heading into new year. Everyone's kind of thinking about what they want for the for the year and yeah, let me know in the comments below where you're at with your business. Like I don't I don't necessarily want a resolution because I never stick to them, but I want to set out an actual actionable plan that can make this business grow. So that's what I'm going to do this morning and then this evening I've got my live stream with my patrons. I realized one of the last times I filmed on this vlog, I was doing my live stream. That is how long it takes me to do these videos. But this month I'm doing a tutorial about how I design cute characters and put them on products and things. And yeah, I'm gonna get planning and see where the business goes in the new year. To even have a place to start when it comes to planning my year and what I want to achieve in the business, what I'm going to start by doing is going through my data, my analytics over the past couple of years and look at how my sales have grown, how my Patreon has grown, my YouTube, if I can find a pattern in my growth and give myself a goal as to how much I want to grow again in the following year. So I want it to be realistic, but I also want to set myself a goal that will really motivate me to get going. And then from there, break down that goal as to Okay, so that means I need to achieve this many goal, this many sales every month to achieve that goal. That's kind of how I'm gonna start my plan. Obviously this business isn't just about income, it's about growing my community, growing my, um, my following, my engagement with um, people on my YouTube and everything like that. But in order to do that and have the time to do that, I also, I need to grow my revenue. So it's like a cycle. So that's what I'm gonna start to do and then I'll get back to you in a little bit. Okay, so I've used my planner that says Filled with Hopes and Dreams by Emily Harvey Art and I've not used it yet. I was waiting for something important to put in it because it's so lovely and I have broken down my business. I was really surprised to find that my sales this year were actually better than the previous year yet my shop has been shut. I think that shows that there is real growth there, even though I haven't had my shop open for quite a lot of the year. I've made an estimation of what I think I could achieve next year if my shop was open and I've given myself a really good goal. It's difficult, but it's not unachievable. And then I've broken those th those goals into actionable steps. Things like sending regular emails out to my mailing list, promoting my mailing list. So if you wanna join my mailing list, have a look in the description below. It's on my website, you can subscribe and it's a great place to get deals, newsletters, behind the scenes stuff. I want to do more YouTube videos 
that's always been the goal. Yeah, there's loads more in here about the, those actionable steps, but if, if you're like me and you just kind of come in to your studio and just get on with the day's tasks, but don't really have a set goal in mind of how many sales you want to achieve that month or that year or per day, then it's a really good idea to just reflect on the, the past year and see where you want to go in the future. So I hope that this vlog has been motivating. I'm going to end it here because otherwise I will never get it out. And that's it from me. I hope that you are subscribed to the new channel. Yeah, it's been a chatty vlog, I think, but I think I needed it. I needed to update you and inform you on what's happening. Small business, big dreams.